and he's a guy i met while trekking so not like a very successful guy but a cool relaxed guy who likes having fun and climbing mountains mhm i've been meeting a lot of folks like that where they're not super ambitious with their career but they are still well-rounded individuals in other parts of life and it's really easy to rule them out where you'll look at the guy and you'll say you're making how much that's all well, what are you going to do next they'll say well, i'm just happy where i am and initially the the presuppositions that many ambitious folks have is that this guy's a loser he has nothing to teach me and then you start talking to this guy more and it's a pretty interesting person uh, they've traveled to a lot of pockets of places that you've never even heard of uh, they um volunteer they do a bunch of their family men they have successful kids so they're not ambitious with their career they're still well rounded in other aspects i've noticed, noticed that. that i agree with you i do think that a lot of your friendships especially the age that we are in mhm it comes down to friendships for some common interest for example if i want to go trekking then i'll call up people who like trekking it's going to be people like this if i want to say you know start a new company then i'm going to talk to different people who are interested in that thing mm-hmm. and maybe those guys are not fit maybe they are lacking in that department if i want to work out with a group then i might call up my fitter friends they might be dumber or smart or you know they might have they might be lacking in some or the other thing right so it's very very difficult to find people who are perfect in all departments but if you are interested in one particular hobby or activity you can definitely make friends with people who are good at that activity only whether mm-hmm. or not they're doing well in other aspects of their life or not absolutely if you take a guy who can bench 180 kg you can learn a thing or two about benching from him whether or not he's making money yeah i i like that i actually like the way you frame that because i know this one guy who if you view him from his career he is a straight up loser i mean he's been in school for so many freaking years and he just keeps doing these gas station jobs working as a cashier and from a career aspect he has failed but this is the guy that i always hit up whenever i'm going to a networking event or i'm trying to introduce a couple of friends that don't know each other i invite this guy because if you put this guy in any social setting it lights up i mean he's that charismatic so this guy i keep him around because there's been plenty of times where he'll be my hype man he'll make me look good he's a good wingman uh he can help you close deals um uh, for your business and much more so i keep him around and i see myself keeping him around because he has such good social skills so you need folks from different aspects you can't just have everyone just be like you yeah that's not how the real world works right mm-hmm. how what are the chances of finding someone who is not only doing well in business but also intelligent also likes to read also likes to trek i mean you're going to be you there's only mm-hmm. one arman there's only one harsh if you want to go trekking just find people who like trekking and then go trek don't right. overthink you know don't judge them by other things otherwise you yeah. will just not find company yeah you're not going to find company and as an adult it actually becomes harder to make friends because people are now becoming very solidified in their identity which means they have a job they have their own family they have their own time that they want to relax so you trying to find a friend as an adult and if you even want to make it more complex you just moved right when you move somewhere new you have to pretty much start over how are you going to do it and one of the ways to do it is that You don't want to just look for a certain model and that said. You want to keep your mind open. You want to see if you could join some clubs and from there get the ball rolling. 